Good morning students. How are you everyone? Today we discuss class 7 physical science motion. In earlier classes we have discussed about types of the motions, speed, units of the speed and the numericals based on speed. Today we take a quick revision of these topics. We continue now. Now class 7 physical science motion and time. In this we revise about what is meaning of motion, types of the motion, types of the speed and units of the speed, measuring of time, time measuring devices or clocks, periodic motion of a simple pendulum, units of time and speed, measure of distance speed and distance time graph. In our universe, any object, either it is in motion or is rest. How we decide an object is in motion or rest? If an object travels some distance, then it changes its position with respect to time, then it is said to be motion. If an object does not change its position with respect to time, then we say that it is in rest position. Here there are three types of the motions are there. Linear or straight motion, circular, curvy linear motion. What is meaning of linear motion? In the first example, a person is runs in a straight road. Then it is called as linear motion or straight line motion. In the second example, an object is travels in a circular path. Then it is called as circular motion. In the third one, an object is travels in a curved path. Then it is said to be curvy linear path. Linear, circular curvy linear path then these are called as types of the motions next an object is traveled slowly or fastly how we decide if an object covers a particular distance in less time then we say that it moves fastly suppose an same object travels the same distance by taking the more time then we say that that object is travel slowly means the speed of an object is depends upon their distance and time the next one is how we calculate speed of an object the speed is equal to distance by time means the distance traveled by an object in unit time is called as its speed. The formulas are speed is equal to distance by time. In the right hand side, the time is goes to the left hand side then become distance is equal to speed into time and time is equal to distance by speed. And how we calculate the average speed? The average speed means the total distance covered by an object by the total time taken. And what are the units of the speed? The speed can be measured by the units kilometer per hour because distance units are kilometer and the time units are hours. And also we measure by the units of meter per second. These are the units of the speed. These three formulas are very useful for the doing numericals. Speed is equal to distance by time. Distance is equal to speed into time. And time is equal to distance by speed. Now here we discuss about two more motions are there. Uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Here let me see the uniform motion. A person is travels in a straight road on a bike. Here let me observe for every one second and one second. He travels 5 meter distance, 5 meter distance for every one second. That means... 
it covers the equal distances in equal intervals of time as a result let me calculate the speed the speed is equal to distance by time for every time we get here 5 meter per second 5 meter per second 5 meter per second that means an object travels in a straight line and covers equal distances in equal intervals of time then such type of the motion is called as uniform motion in a, this uniform motion the speed is remains constant such now next we discuss about non uniform motion in this module we observe here a person travels in a straight road on a bike he covers an equal distances the first distance is 10 8 4 for every 2 second 2 second 2 second that means he covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time means the speed is not constant because the distance size varies automatically the speed is varies such type of the motion is called as non uniform motion when an object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time then it is said to be non uniform motion in the first uniform motion it covers equal distances 5 meter for every 1 second but here for every 2 seconds he first covers distance 10 meters and another 8 meters then next 4 meters different distances are covers because the speed is not constant in this non-uniform motion now average speed average speed means the total distance traveled by an object divided by the total time taken by an object is called as its average speed we know that the time can be measured in a year by taking the a complete revolution of the earth around the sun whereas the month the time between the two new moons we calculate the time whereas in the day and night the time between sunrise and the sunset and the morning is the rising of the sun and also so many devices are there for measuring times they are sundial sand dial pendulum clock water clock and quartz clock so we discuss one by one sundial clock the first diagram indicates that sundial it uses the position of the sun to determine the time whereas by using sand in the sand dial we measure the time and the next one is pendulum clock it uses a pendulum to measure a time in the fourth diagram there is a we use a water to for the measuring of the time in the water clock in the last one is quartz clock they have an electric circuit that works with the help of the cells they provided an accurate time for measuring there are five types of the devices are there in previous days we use sundial sand clocks after that we measure pendulum clocks Nowadays we use quartz clocks. Now we continue periodic motion of a simple pendulum. How simple pendulum is consist? The simple pendulum is consist of a metallic bomb which is suspended from a rigid support with the help of the a metallic rigid support is there with the help of a thread we suspended a metallic bomb now if this metallic bomb is oscillated from its main portion to its extreme ends b to c and it come back to the b then that oscillation is called periodic motion that means here the a is travels 
the metallic bomb is travels from a to b and b to c and it come back to the a position then we say that it complete one oscillation b is called as 2 and other end is called as pro these are also called as extreme positions whereas the a is called as a mean position now one oscillation what is meaning of one oscillation when the metallic bomb is travels from a to b and then b to c and come back to the c po a position then it is called as one oscillation or Suppose I start the pendulum from B position, then it goes to the C to B, come back to the B along through a mean position, then it is also called as one oscillation. Then such type of the motions are called as periodic motion. A is called mean position and B and C are called as extreme positions. Now let me discuss about what is meaning of oscillation a simple pendulum contains a bomb is there and it is suspended from a rigid strand with the help of the thread. Now oscillatory motion means when a metallic bomb is starts from one end to another end and it come back to its end extreme position along through the mean position then it is called as oscillation. And what is meaning of one oscillation? Again I extreme here one oscillation means suppose I start from a position now it oscillate from a to b b to c and come back to the a position then it is called a uh, one oscillation suppose I start from b position then it starts from b to c and c to come back to the b along with mean position then it is also called as one oscillation the time taken for one oscillation is called as time period. And what is meaning of oscillation? One oscillation that is called oscillation. When the bomb moves from its extreme positions along with its main position, then it is said to be one oscillation. And what is meaning of time period of pendulum? The time taken by the pendulum to complete one oscillation is called its time period. And it is denoted by letter T. Now we discuss about what are the units of time and speed conversions. We know that the formula of the speed is equal to distance by time. The distance can be measured by kilometer or meter and the time can be measured by hour or minutes. Now we convert here. Suppose the distance is 1 kilometer per 1 hour. I want to convert here 1 kilometer to 1 kilometer per hour to 1 meter per second. How? We know that 1 kilometer means 1000 meters and 1 hour means 60 minutes. Then we calculated these things. We get here 1 by 3.6. So we conclude that when kilometer per hour can be converted into meter per second by divided with 3.6 value. Suppose meter per second are there. We want to convert it into kilometer per hour. We multiplied by 3.6. These are all used in numericals.